Good evening. I'd like to welcome you here to Aurora Center Catholic for our welcome to high school night. This is our, our welcome for uh, new students, students who are soon to be entering high school in the fall. And it becomes a nice opportunity for us to visit with, with you as parents and with, uh, uh, with your sons and daughters for this welcome high school night where we have an opportunity of talking a little bit about ourselves as a school, but also the placement exam and then the registration process. So I, I appreciate you being with us. But in all things, we always begin at, at ACC with prayer. And so we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We have a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John the Baptist had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming God's good news. And he said, this is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Reform your lives and believe in the gospel. As he passed along the Sea of Galilee, he caught sight of two brothers, Simon and his brother Andrew. They were fishermen, and they were casting their nets into the sea. And he called them, and immediately they left their nets, and they followed after him. He walked along a little further and caught sight of James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in their boat with their father, Zebedee, and the hired hands. He called them, and they, too, followed after him, leaving Zebedee their father with the hired hands in the boat. And we pray. Dear Lord, we're aware of your many gifts and your many blessings, and we're aware that you call us, as you called Simon and Andrew and James and John, to listen to your word and then to follow. Help us to follow you with open hearts and help us to follow you with generous hearts to be willing to serve others in a spirit of compassion and of, and of hopefulness for all. We ask you, Lord, to bless the Aurora Center Catholic School community, to bless our students, to bless our families, to bless our faculty, and all of our friends and benefactors, but in a special way, to bless the members of the new class, the class of 2025, as they begin their high school endeavors, that they may be aware of God's grace and his blessing and his love in their lives, and that they may grow in their relationship with him, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. And once again, I, I do thank you for, for joining for this remote Welcome to High School evening. It is a different format than, than tradition because traditionally we're here at school visiting with our families of new students and coming students and really it provides us an opportunity of talking a little bit about about uh, ACC and talking about our schedule our block schedule and then also talking about the placement exam at this time I do hope that you've received your packets uh, with the results for the placement exam and then course recommendations in those packets as well. There will also be information about signing up for registration dates uh, at the end of this month. And, but in the meantime, I, I think it's, it's an opportunity for us really to talk a little bit about, about ACC and about our tradition here as a diocesan Catholic high school. So Aurora Central Catholic is a diocesan Catholic high school. I'm a diocesan priest and principal here at ACC. Our tradition goes back to Madonna High School in 1926. So for almost 100 years, our school or our affiliate schools have been educating high school age students in the Fox River Valley area in the faith and providing them with the skills that they need to live productive lives of leadership and service in our community and throughout the world. 
the Madonna High School merged in the 60s with Ron Colley High School and then the diocese uh, took over the schools and named it Aurora Center Catholic in 1968. So we've been functioning as Aurora Center Catholic High School since uh, the first class in 19, 1968, uh, walked the halls of what was at that point the old Madonna building and the old Ron Colley building. And, but the tradition of Catholic high school education that began in those schools continues in, in our school and we're proud of that tradition. It's a tradition in which we prepare the young people for their future endeavors in, in terms of our classes and the curriculum. But even more so, we're concerned about the whole person. And so we're concerned about educating, not simply the mind, but educating the, the soul and the spirit it, so that we can recognize our gifts as truly gifts from God and that we may use those generously for the good of all. But we are a value-rich school in which the values in your home are reflected and they're reinforced here in, in our school buildings. And we're, we're proud of that tradition. We exist to help the local Catholic parishes in the education of the young people uh, in our area. And so we have students who travel to be part of the Aurora Central Catholic School community from as far west as, uh, as DeKalb or Sycamore, as far south as, uh, as Plainfield, uh, east to Naperville and Lyle area and so forth. So we have students coming from many, many different schools and uh, from Catholic schools and, and public schools, but that we are here for all of the students and we're encouraging them to grow to be aware of uh, their many, many, many gifts. With that, our local parishes support our school, not only in terms of what we're doing in our classrooms or our retreats and uh, many events that take place here at school, but they're also supporting our school financially. So in terms of the tuition for our school is significantly less than other uh, private schools or Catholic schools in our area simply because our local parishes support our school financially, which uh, allows us to keep our tuition as affordable as possible for all of our families and really helping us to fulfill our mission of providing an excellent Catholic education for the students who are here at Aurora Central Catholic. Our curriculum is based on what's called the block schedule. And that's different than the traditional schedule of seven period days or eight period days where students go from one period to another and they have study halls and other things. We have what's called the block schedule. And the block schedule means that we have four courses in the fall and four courses in the spring. And so without uh, study halls, our, our students are in courses and are in classes throughout the day. Uh, we do take uh, breaks for lunch and our school day actually begins before uh, the first bell with mass here in our, our chapel area for those who are in the building, both in our, our students and faculty and the local people join us for, for morning mass. Our school day begins with, uh, with a pledge and then, and then a prayer by our student leaders, our campus ministry leaders, and our choruses begin with those prayers so that, so that we're reflecting what we're doing throughout our, our school day. But in terms of courses, our students will take four courses in the fall and four in the spring. And it means that in terms of graduation, we ask more for our students in preparation of graduation. So typically we require a minimum of 28 credits to graduate from our students because of the block schedule. Our students aren't sitting in study halls, they're in actual classes. It means that our students are able to actually take more math courses, additional English courses, additional science courses, because 
of our requirements for graduation. Our students aren't simply taking uh, a minimum of 21 credit in a traditional schedule because of all the, uh, the study halls. Our, our students aren't limited to simply uh, three math classes during their course of high school or four science courses during the course of high school. Our students typically will have uh, six English classes, six or more science classes, six or more math courses, all because the courses that begin in August will conclude in early January, much like college. And our courses that begin in January conclude in May, and the students are focusing on four courses. And the periods themselves are 90 minutes in length, much like the collegiate experience. And I always am amazed when our students come back from college and I said, well, how is it? And they said, oh, Father, it's easy. We've been at it this way at ACC since we were freshmen. We understand what it means to sit for 90 minutes in a class. We know what it means to be doing the readings that are necessary for it because we've been doing it. But it also means that our students are, are prepared in times to do national exams, that they've had more math, they've had more English, they've had more science, all in preparation for uh, the collegiate placement and their exams in preparation for college. So we are here to prepare students for their next endeavors and to help them recognize their, their many gifts. At ACC, it is, uh, one of those wonderful challenges as we prepare our students for uh, their future endeavors, we also partner with uh, Wavansi Community College for collegiate classes for our upper level students that are taught actually here in our building. Uh, faculty from Wavansi are here teaching uh, a number of courses that are dual credit courses that count not simply for our uh, uh, courses here for graduation, but also as a step in the door for their collegiate studies that they're prepared for those studies um, and they get credit for it uh, for college by the courses that, that they're taking here by the Wabatsi instructors. Now, the, the other piece that I'd like to mention uh, this evening is that your son or, or, and daughter's took our placement exam in either early December or January. And we use the placement exam to help us place your sons and daughters in their courses here at Aurora Central Catholic. So in the packet, you will see the results of the placement exam and, and Mrs. Prill will go, uh, will go through those results and explain how we use them. But the placement is one tool that we use. In addition to the, the uh, grades that your son or daughter received in grade school or middle school, also you and your children are asked to decide what course levels you, they feel most comfortable with. We want them challenged, but we also want them to feel comfortable. And in doing that, we take the placement exams, we take the, the grade school grades, we take, take teacher recommendations from the grade school or middle schools, we look at your uh, decisions with regard to courses, and then we use all of those things when we sit down for uh, the actual placement of your child at registration. And it helps us to move forward, and it helps them really uh, in their beginning of the coursework here at ACC. So I, I would like to thank you for joining us. I, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you to our Center Catholic High School. And it's a pleasure for me to then turn over uh, our remote evening to our Director of, of Guidance, uh, Mrs. Prill, so that she may walk through the placement exam with you. So thank you very, very much. God bless you, go Chargers. Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Prill and I'm the Director of Counseling at Aurora Central Catholic High School. And this little video that I'm making is to help you guys understand um, your STS placement test results. 
So first, before we get to that, I just want to explain a little bit about what tests that we use. So we do use the high school placement test um, from the Scholastic Testing Service. So this is a test that's used by most Catholic schools, which is a benefit because that way, if you know a student takes the test at a different school, it is the same test that we accept here and vice versa. So it doesn't matter so much about where the student necessarily tests, um, but we are able to use those scores across the board. So why do we give the placement test? One of the main reasons why we give the placement test is because ACC has over 50 feeder schools. And this is one of the things that I love about ACC is that we have you know, students coming from all different schools, all different areas, but often that leads to different um, you know, different things going on with those students. So being able to give the placement test is an opportunity for us to kind of level the playing field and see where everyone is asked at on one level. So how do we read the results? So your results are going to look very similar to um, what you see here on the screen. Um, intentionally, it is a little bit blurry, but you guys will be able to follow along. So in that first column there, you are going to see the major testing areas. The major, um, and then the three sections across the board say the major testing areas, the performance scores, and the performance ratings. So under the major testing areas, you're gonna see cognitive skills. And under there, you'll have both the verbal and the quantitative sections that your students took. Then you have the basic skills, which is the reading, math, and language. And then we also offer the optional test, which is the science test. Next to that, you will see the performance scores. Under the performance scores, you will see the standard score, which is marked as SS, the grade equivalent score, which is marked as GE, the local percentile scores, which is LP, and then the national percentiles, which is NP. The local percentiles is the percentile using the data from the students who did test here at ACC on that day. The national percentiles is using the data of the test results from anyone in the nation who took the test. So what are the grade equivalent scores and what do they mean? So the grade equivalent is given in years and months. And so this describes the level the student is functioning on and the different testing areas. For example, if you see a 7.1 under reading, that means that your student is reading at a seventh grade level who's in the first month of their seventh grade. And then the next example we have is math. So if you see an 8.9, it means that they are functioning at an eighth grader in the ninth month of their eighth grade. So how do we read those percentiles? The easiest way to read that percentile would be, and in this example, we use 53. So in order to read that, you can say, you know, my students scored as well as 53% of their peers on a national level. The next section over you'll see is the performance ratings. So this is nice because it is um, a visual representation of those national percentile scores. So using the national percentiles, you can kind of see on the graph where your child falls. The bottom section is the, um, is the specific skills. And that's kind of nice because it breaks down those major testing areas. So the reading the language and the math and the types of questions that they asked. It will show you how many questions they asked in a certain subject and how many of those questions your students got correct. So we get this question a lot. So what happens if the student doesn't do very well on this test? So completely understanding and wanting to take as much of a holistic approach as we possibly can, we use other resources as well in determining you know, what the, a student's schedule is going to look like. So we do ask for input from the grade schools. We do get a lot of recommendations back from them. They know your students better than we do at this point, that's for sure, since they have been working with them for an extended period of time. And then we also do take input from parents as well as the student. So we want everyone to feel comfortable with the classes that they are going to choose. So we do, you know, want everybody's input on that. 
So a lot of times, you know, maybe that doesn't agree. Maybe a student does, you know, fairly poorly, but is actually a very good student or, you know, sometimes vice versa. So parents and students do have the opportunity to sign what we call an override form. An override form is an agreement that the student and the parents have, and they understand that while ACC's recommended placement might be in one class, that they want to place them in a different class. So how do you register? So you will be able to register via Sign Up Genius. So you will be registering for an appointment um, and the three different dates that are listed. So we do have appointments on Tuesday, February 23rd, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. There's Thursday, February 25th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then Saturday, February 27th from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. During your registration appointment, it's really important that you bring your packet of completed forms, especially this year as we are trying to social distance and make sure um, you know, we don't have unnecessary mounds of people at a time. We really um, would like you to have your forms completed. If you have questions, feel free to bring your questions, but please do have those forms completed. You will be able to meet with an advisor in order to choose your classes. So you'll be sitting down with um, somebody to help you choose the classes. You will be able to review the academic programs and the classes that ACC offers. There will be an opportunity to purchase ACC apparel and have any other questions that you need answered. So just a quick note on how we are trying to keep us all safe during you know, the registration appointments based on what's going on in our communities with COVID. So just so everyone is aware, the tables are going to be set up to accommodate social distancing. So chairs are going to be set up on opposite sides of the table. So you're not directly next, you know, across from people. We are asking that only one parent or guardian accompany the student in order to cut down on how many people we have in the room. Upon check-in, we ask that you have all that paperwork filled out. Each family will receive their own pen to use, so we won't be exchanging pens or anything like that. And then tables and seats will be cleaned in between each appointment. We do ask that masks are worn at all times as well. So thank you so much for you know, listening in tonight. And we just wanna welcome all, all of you to the Aurora Central Catholic community. We're all happy to have you. And if you have any other questions, please just let us know. Thank you so much.